Hi, dear Chinese language lovers. In this class, we're going to study radical gates, door, mum. This radical has only one form. It is used in characters and as a separate word. Let's see how we draw it. We start from dot two and three. And now let's study its history. In ancient picture, we see big gates and traditional character still looks like gates, door, slashes, which you easily can open and simplify it. They look like one big door. Now let's study characters with this radical. The first character is very interesting to ask. One. We have mouth inside and it's very easy to explain and memorize that when we open our mouth we ask questions and in this way we can open any any doors. The next example it's a word space in between or it has another meaning room. Jian. And inside of our doors we see sun. Why? Because in the past, in ancient times, our houses, buildings, they didn't have windows because glasses didn't exist. And buildings, houses, they had only doors and sunlight could enter the house, the room, only through doors. And thankfully to this light you could see space in between these walls. And the next cool example is the word free time. We see tree inside our doors and again uh, when you have free time you open your doors and go to uh, trees, to woods and have free time there. Because in the past we didn't have uh, TVs and other things which wasted our time. And the last example it's not a word, it's affix. Affixes they are things which you add to words. And our affix today it's mun, which we add to different pronouns. For example, wo or I, wo, mun, we. You all know this affix. And this affix, this character has person standing near doors. So imagine in this case you are at home and you see a person in front of your doors and in this case you're not alone, you become we. Woman, for example. Now let's see examples in which this radical is used as a separate word. The first example it's a word entrance. Mun ko. Mun door gates ko mouth. In this case, mouth is used not as an organ, it is used as a symbol of hole in which we enter. Mun ko entrance. And the second example it's a word entrance ticket. Mun piao. Mun door piao. Ticket. Guys, one of the reasons why I decided to become Chinese language teacher because I really, really love, first of all, Chinese characters. Of course, foreigners nowadays still think that Chinese characters are something absolutely difficult to understand, to memorize. Yes, if you do it in very silly, uh, sorry for saying, stupid way, if you just write them down and try to memorize them mechanically. It's very important to watch our lessons over time, over and over, again and again. And in this way, you first of all will memorize associations through studying history of characters. I love, love myself studying history of characters. Uh, we spend lots of time to prepare our classes, lots of energy, lots of money, and we do it first of all to share our excitement about Chinese language. So that's why it's very important to stay with us, push this bell button, and it will remind you about our next class in which we're going to study a radical white. Guang.